It is Thursday. It's the 4th of April. I'm Juanita Rajpal. This is CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Making news today. Missiles on the coast, threats on the airwaves. North Korea is making increasingly aggressive statements, prompting speculation it's planning missile tests soon. South Korea says Pyongyang has moved medium-range missiles to its east coast. Earlier, the regime in the north warned that, quote, the moment of explosion is approaching fast. CNN's Jim Clancy joins us now live uh, with the latest from Seoul. Jim. Well, it started out as a quiet enough day, but the people of North Korea soon heard the latest threats coming out of the regime. Their life was from Seoul. This hour, a funeral is being held in the West Bank for a Palestinian activist who died in Israeli custody. Abu Hamdia died of cancer while serving a life sentence. He was convicted of planning to bomb a cafe in Jerusalem. Angry protests broke out over the death of Hamdia. Some Palestinian groups accuse Israel of denying him medical care. Bins for stricter U.S. gun laws, lawmakers in the state of Connecticut, where the uh, Sandy Hook Elementary School massacre took place, have passed a bill banning more than 100 assault weapons. The bill makes it harder to buy other guns as well. The Thank state's you, governor is now expected to sign Mr. it into Rice law. Connecticut would be the third state to pass stricter gun laws after 26 like children say. and teachers died at Sandy Hook. Australia has launched a national inquiry into child sex abuse. The Royal Commission, created by Prime Prime Minister Julia Gillard's government says it expects to hear from roughly 5,000 child abuse victims, the aim being to start the healing process and to hold offenders accountable. Kate Osborne, former CNN affiliate 7 Network, has more. For survivors of child sexual abuse, it was overwhelming, but for once, some of the emotions were positive. It's Kate Osborne of Australia's 7 Network reporting there. Heavy rains and flooding have killed more than 50 people in Argentina. Worst hit is the university city of La Plata, where at least 48 deaths have been reported. Eight others have died in Buenos Aires. Three days of national mourning have been declared by Argentina's government in the wake of the disaster. Well, let's take you straight now to the World Weather Center for more on the situation in Argentina. CNN's meteorologist Mario Ramos joins us now live with more on that. Hi, Mari. Uh you know, uh, Monita, this is a story that we've been following for the last couple of days already. The heaviest rain uh, began to fall uh, the day before yesterday. 48 hours. I think that's going to be critical. Back to you. All right. Mari, thank you very much for that. We appreciate that update. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong just ahead. An unusual virus claims more victims. We'll have details on the spread of a strain of bird flu never before seen in humans. <laughs> You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. I'm Monita Rajpal. China's bird flu fears are far from over. State media is reporting that nine people have been infected with an unusual strain of the virus. Four new cases were just discovered in China's eastern Jiangsu province, where the city of Nanjing is located. The World Health Organization says all of the patients are reportedly in critical condition. CNN's David McKenzie joins us now from Beijing with an update on their situation there. David. Well, now I can give you an updated number. The latest information from state media here in China, Monita, is 11 in... David, thank you for that. David McKenzie there live for us from CNN Beijing. More now on a story we brought you uh, moments ago on News Center. In the West Bank city of Hebron, Palestinians have gathered for the funeral of an activist who died while in custody in an Israeli prison. Abu Hamdia had cancer and was serving a life sentence for planning an attack on a cafe in Jerusalem. Some Palestinian groups have accused Israel of denying him medical care. Atika Schubert joins us now live from Hebron with more on the, on the uh, proceedings there. Atika. Manita, we're actually overlooking the cemetery where Abu Hamdiya will be buried. And you can probably see behind me the funeral procession is underway. I'm just going to step out of the way so the camera can zoom in a bit. He All right, Atika, thank you. Atika Schubert there live for us from Hebron. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. They've devoted their lives to inspiring others. And now they're being honored for their work. We look at the women who are helping to change the world. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. The first leg of Champions League quarterfinals are in the book. Let's find out who's got the upper hand right now. Amanda Davis joins us now from CNN London with all the details. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Manita. Yeah, Real Madrid are in a pretty good position, but they haven't manager. had any uh, protests either. Oh, interesting. All right, we'll see how he goes then, shall we? All right, Amanda, thank you very much for that. Well, they've led and inspired often in the face of adversity and prejudice. They are women whose lives have helped and changed others. And today, they are being celebrated at the annual Women in the World Summit in New York, as well as attracting big-name U.S. guests like Hillary Clinton and the Oscar-winning actress Meryl Streep. The event is also highlighted the joined the now in our London studios by a woman who's devoted her life to improving the lives of others. She's Camilla Batman-Gelich, an award-winning British businesswoman, author and founder of two children's charities. Camilla, thank you very much for being with us. We appreciate you joining thank us you. here on the show. We are seeing younger and younger women taking the lead in changing perception, changing the lives of others and the cultures in which they live. You work with young children. Where, where do you see this, uh, where do you think this desire for change is coming from? I think we're now beginning to realize across the world. You inspire us all every day. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate Thank that. Thank you. You're watching CNN News Center. I'm Onido Rajpal, live at CNN Hong Kong. Thank you for joining us. Stay with us, though. We'll update you the news headlines in just a couple of minutes.